Hi, my name is David from Ideas Man, and today I'm going to be talking about local marketing and in particular setting up Bing Maps, also known as Bing Places. So to do that, head over to www.bingplaces.com and from there, if you have a Microsoft account, you can just start filling in the profile. So it pops up and asks you for your name and your email address. Next step is to do a search for your business. Now unfortunately there's no way to just add a business straight from the home page. So you start off by doing a search for your business. It'll list businesses in the area. Yours won't be there because this is a new time we create it. So you just scroll down to the very bottom. When you get there you'll see a button allowing you to create a new business. Now after that you can start filling in the basic business details. So there are all the information such as the name, address, phone number, email and website and also what sort of categories does your business fit in. A little bit further down the page you can start filling in the hours of operation of the business and maybe put in a few graphics. Now these graphics need to be around about 480 by 360 pixels uh, in size. Now after you do that move down a bit further, describe your business, give it a tagline and describe information such as customer parking, payment options and the date that your business started. Now from there you'll, you'll be in a position where you've created your listing but it's not yet verified. Now it takes around about two weeks to verify but to start off you come here you click the verify now button and you'll have the option of either verifying by email or by post. Now if your website and your email address coincide so they have the same domain name, in this case I do, plusmedicalclinic.com.au, then you can just do it by email. If you don't then you'll have to do it by post. They'll send you a card which you fill in and return. Now after you click the verify button, I've received an email. It has all the details uh, including a PIN number. Now with that PIN number I come back to the portal, I click on the enter PIN button, it pops up a dialog where I enter that value in, hit submit and it'll say that it's verified. Now the reality is it's not quite verified. Uh, what happens is it's listed on Google Maps here but not in the public website. So what you have to do is wait for about two weeks for Microsoft to verify the listing. When it's listed you'll be able to see it on Bing Maps. Anyway, I'm David from Ideas Man. You can contact me at Facebook, 99 Tech Guru.